let's say that you are doing a technique to live your body consciously. But no matter how hard you try and for how long, it seems it doesn't work. Have you ever experienced that? This is so common. And this is a super quick video that I'm doing here because I just finished like 10, 15 minutes ago, one workshop that was only dedicated to helping people learn how to apply the techniques and how they should interpret each of the phases. Normally, the reason why we do not get results is because we fail in noticing how loose our energy body is, meaning the energetic connection between the physical and the astral body. And if we fail to notice that, we will try to stand up or float or disconnect sooner than it would be ideal or take too long. Often, because of this, we end up losing lucidity. So in this workshop, I could guide people. So I was talking to them throughout, helping them how to prepare their energies and how to focus on specifically some aspects of the technique. And you know what I've learned from that? One of the things that was a problem for a big number of people was that they would have expectations on what type of sensation they would have. So let's say that they are trying to disconnect or trying to feel, let's say, just their hands, of course, of the astral body floating and moving whilst their physical hands are still there on the bed. They have an assumption of how that should be felt. They have an assumption of how quick that would happen. And when the sensation is subtler than they expected or subtler than they hope it would be, they just disregard it or conclude it, it didn't disconnect, it, it didn't go further enough, I couldn't do it. And that is the big mistake. What happens is that if we have only half of our astral body here, in this case, the para hand and para arm, only half of it floating, this is a disconnection. It's not a full disconnection yet. It's not a full projection yet, but it's a partial projection. And we need to get used to this feeling because there is when people get lost. They get some degree of perceptions, feel movements, feel light, feel floating, and all of a sudden, poof, it's gone. It's gone completely. Have you ever had that? So let's think. We will adapt to recognize what is happening with the astral body and with our energy body. It's super important in different degrees, even if it's a small separation and this sensation is still subtle. It's real. Being subtle does not mean unreal, does not mean, mean it's imagination. It only means the way we are being able to focus, to connect and to interpret the sensation at that moment. So give yourself a chance. Choose a technique. If you have done the consciousness development program, you have many techniques the ISC teach. But if not, I will be here teaching you technique. But use the technique you know. But number one, remember, you have to have your energies well prepared for many different reasons so that you don't face any type of attack or any surprise. And especially so that you can disconnect more easily. Of course, it can happen spontaneously and can be easy for you in a given moment. But if you can prepare to make it even better, of course, we are going to avoid this situation that I just described. That is trying to get out, trying to get out, and for whatever reason, it doesn't go through completely, it doesn't finish the process. So you will have to work with your energies to have this separation happen sooner. And when you do the technique, remember, a subtle sensation is a very important sensation because it may be subtle in the way our brain is interpreting. But if that means we are sensing our subtle energies, our energy body, or the energy of the astral dimension close to us. If we are sensing our astral body, of course it's going to be subtler than the sensation of the physical body. But we can connect to it. We can focus. We can recognize it. The more we focus, the easier it becomes for us to let go of the physical body and have a greater connection with the non-physical reality and live consciously. It's just a quick tip here. In
inspired by what I heard from the students that I just helped. And the results were so great after some of these discussions that I had with them. So I wish so much that I could share here with you. If you're interested in following some of these techniques that I will be teaching, make sure that you subscribe there in my website. Subscribe to my newsletter because that's how I'm going to invite you. And I hope this tip helps you. I look forward to seeing you in the future. If this helped, give me a thumbs up. You know the drill if you are interested in these topics. Consider subscribing to the channel. But anyways, I look forward to seeing you again in the future. Goodbye.